Welcome back, everyone. We're getting into our third um, set of the day. Um, in, I think the final set in these group stages. Um, and we're about to get into the first game of, what is it? Cool Cat 26, love the username, uh, looking team name, uh, and z versus Zero Luck Found. So, hopefully, interesting on Scorch Gorge Rainmaker. It's gonna be quite the game. We, I, I, I don't even know what to make of these teams as of yet. Yeah, like they're all under aliases. They're disguised. <laughs> uh, yes, Splatoon in disguise. Whoa. Are that they is really gonna be a Rainmaker squid? Scorch Gorge. Anyway, um, I wonder if they're gonna meet the crab quota. <laughs> yes, thing. gotta meet that crab quota. Alright, we got the two. Yes. And then the two. All right, they're safe. There we, we go. go We've got some now. crab quotas going on. After after last set, we needed to reach our our, our goals. Um, so <laughs> glad we're starting here. Um, but yeah, straight away fighting over Rainmaker. Looking like it might go to zero luck fine. Um, but they've now already we... they're already down one. Um, both teams. Um, and both these one. teams are rocking a splat like of some sort. Hydra on the side of. Uh, zero luck found, and then the knot on cool cats. Mmm, this is not looking good for zero luck found. They already, um, uh, cool cats already passed that first checkpoint. Um, oh, that is really not good for them. That is three down. Uh, this might be a very quick uh, KO, but not quite. Not quite. Uh, thank goodness. Um, they're able to. Hopefully come back from this, but they're gonna have to get that Rainmaker out of there, um, and soon. Uh, Starfear trying to come in with a with a Booyah bomb, but yet again, these guys are trying to. I was gonna say trying to stay around, but one of them just fell off. Yeah, thankfully okay. zero or um cool cast. Well, no zero luck. Zero luck was able to. Respawn a time to stop that push before they did get the KO, but 11 is going to be tough to come back from. Mm -hmm. It There's is indeed. Um, so much defense going to be coming out from Cool Cats here. Yes, but it does seem like uh, Zero Luck Find is going to have a, a straight run to this uh, checkpoint here. That's going to certainly make their lives easier. But Cool Cat 26, um, if they're able to get a couple specials. It shouldn't be too difficult to stop this push, but we'll have to. See. Not able to get those pushes yet, but we do see the crab getting popped, and that does take out the rainmaker. Two members down, but the is that the juke? No, it's one of the splashes pushing up and getting to pick off the crab. They will be popping their own crab, and with them set up like this, it's mm. gonna be tough for them to get out of spawn. It is indeed. It's gonna be a bit of a nightmare. But they are able, uh, one of the players from Cool Cat is able to get to the um, Rainmaker and kind of slow it down um, somewhat. And now it does seem like they're gonna be able to... <laughs> yeah, I think we're definitely gonna be able to get into mid. <laughs> yeah, I think with a, with a wipe, that'll do it. Um, but there is still one of them in spawn. Um, so they need to get uh, moving with this uh, Rainmaker soon to actually capitalize on that and it's probably best to keep it out of out of mid if they're able to push it into um zero luck fine space keep up that pressure yeah, right now there uh cool casts are having pretty much all of mid locked down zero luck is trying to find a way to poke back in they do get the nice pick off the knot there but still quite a bit of green paint out there there's not a whole lot of room for them to maneuver Yes, indeed. One of them does go down on the side of Cool Cats 26. So that will, and there the knot goes down as well. That will give them the possible Ooh. momentum to get back in. But that good try, uh, Trizuka shot there, um, is able to kind of slow down their, uh, their push a little bit as they're waiting for the rest of their team to get back in again. Um, mm hmm. It does seem like they do allow themselves to get pushed back, zero luck find that is, um, but still both teams fighting over mid right, right now. Yeah, they, they are, uh, zero luck is able to get some control of mid, but they do lose one of their splashes in the process, 
They're still going to opt to pick up the Raymaker though, but it's going to probably be a short carry as they're already getting chased by the splatter shot, and that Zuka shot is going to take them down. Yes, indeed, and that's two down for zero luck versus only one down on the side of Cool Cat. Um, so this is, uh, they really need to get another push going. They've only got about 40 seconds left before overtime, and they do not have the Rainmaker, and they're not pushing at the moment. Um, so this will pretty much come down to if they're able to get that Rainmaker, um, which with two down <laughs> isn't looking likely. Um, 20 seconds yes. left now. Zero, zero luck is gonna have to get a little bit more risky here, but while Cool Cats, they can just play it safe like 10 seconds and such a solid lead. They just gotta sit back and make sure they don't get anywhere with the Rainmaker, and they are already gonna be taking down two members of Zero Luck, three members, just the junior remaining. And they are gonna have to try to pick it up, but not to uh, not take it too far. Yep, sadly, not able to. Um kind of get, any, get anywhere with it there at the end. Um, cool Cat, really, they, they knew what they were, uh, what was necessary there. They got that good push, they just really needed to defend, and they did. Mm -hmm. um, Zero Luck Point did get that, what, 40-something push, um, kind of uh, at the middle of the game, but they just never really got another good push going, and that meant that they just didn't really have the momentum to get anywhere near the 11 that uh, Cool Cat 26 started with. So that'll be the first game going to Cool Cat 26. Yeah, 46 is nothing to sneeze at in a Rainmaker, but just the 11 in the first push, that mm -hmm. wipeout was so crucial. Like, it pretty much set the tone for the rest of that game. And just, they were, it was r really difficult to bring that back. Yes, indeed. Um,. It'll be interesting to see if there are any change-ups on Splatstone's Ink Float. I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know. It depends if they want to keep with that Hydra. Hydra can work, but it's... I wouldn't say it's um, maybe the most widely used on um, this uh, map because it's so easy to kind of, like, uh, toss bombs up and um, kind of keep them at bay if they're pushing uh, just on their, their plat area. Um, but I'm not sure, maybe they will keep it. Um, I'd imagine think, Cool Cat can just deal with their comp as is. Um, yeah, I think it will really come down to whether they're a hardcore Hydra main. If so, mm -hmm. that probably will be seeing the return of it, but it could be just a Rainmaker pick. I know uh, because of the extra damage and just the amount of charge it has, it has some nice damage against the Rainmaker shield so it can get some nice pops, especially if you're choosing to be the Rainmaker carrier with it. But mm -hmm. if they do choose to choose backline, I think you're right, they may swap off the Hydra and choose something else like either an Explo or even a Heavy Splatling if they want to stick with that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, but time will tell. Maybe uh, maybe they'll switch me or not. And we'll see um, what that'll mean for uh, the team play. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. This, we're going very <laughs> no backline. Kind of. Um, there's a little bit of a midline on the side from Coolcast there. Um, but yeah, very, very aggressive, which works um, and can work very well. Yeah, they are able to stick with the Booyah Bomb using that machine, the sloshy machine. But that's going to be three down off of zero luck, four down. Coolcast taking a nice control of mid in the opening bit of this game. I, I can't remember what did the, what was the uh, the squeezer before? I can't remember they swapped off of um, Oh it was the Nautilus. They were Nautilus. It was the before. Nautilus, yep, they were the Nautilus. So they it does seem to be kind of um, will consistently be the range that is not the crabs. Um, so very it's certainly at the moment working for them. Um, but, as I say that, uh, Zero Luck Point is able to switch the zone in their own favor, and they're all in mid, ready to see what um, Cool Cat will do to try and get back in again. Um, 
Yep, that, that crab was not advantageous um, as the uh, slush machine was able to poke at it from a uh, safe distance. But they're still able to get in and three down. I think that's also a delayed wipe on zero luck find. It's not looking good for their ability to hold the zone so far. Yeah, it was a nice push back in. They were able to get lead off of that, but there wasn't too many penalty points for Coolcast to have to deal with. So unless they're able to bring it back quickly, it is going to be the lead back in Coolcast's favor. But still, so far, Zero Luck has been able to keep up with the aggression that Coolcast has been bringing. Like, they're not being completely shut down like that happened in the first uh, match. But now, that might t change right there. <laughs> Three members down, and that, that's zero penalty points left for Coolcast. Yes, yes, indeed. They are just working through those points at the moment. Um, like, it's still definitely something that you can come back from, but there's just so much pain on the ground. Um, it's going to be difficult. Um, and as we've been seeing a lot of, like, that is two down for Cool Cats, but that's three down for Zero Luck Find, which is really, really not what they're looking for right now. They didn't even cap the zone. That is probably going to be game, because I don't think they can get anywhere near that zone anyway, quickly enough. Mm -mm. But, oh, goodness, there were points of that match where it looked like Zero Luck Find had had got some kind of stability, had fi found their footing, but it just... They weren't able to keep it, you know? There were a multitude of times there where um, one person dying snowballed into three, um, and that just meant that they didn't have the presence in mid that they needed um, and on the zone, which is unfortunate, but that does mean that that set goes to Cool Cat 26. <laughs> Yeah, you can't really afford to get wiped after you lose the zone. Like, if you're able to bring it back, even after you get knocked out of the zone area, that is still advantageous for you. But once you start losing those battles to get into zone, like, that's when it starts snowy bowling against you. Yep. Yes, indeed. Um, and I suppose on that note, um, we are probably going to... Yep, go on a quick break and get sorted for the next one. I think I think we're going to be on to the single elimination. Yes, I, that's going to be the mm -hmm. end of our pools right there. So we're going to be getting to some single limb, one and you're done action. So Ooh. stay tuned and go go anywhere. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!